just spotted something that looks like a water buffalo, maybe? It does. If that isn't Texas, I don't know what is. A few more miles, and then we get to the dreaded and beloved <laughs> eight mile road. After four years of being gone, we're here, we're back home. in Illinois. We have driven 17 hours south. <laughs> Which might explain why we look a little tired. We had good friends that were getting married in Austin, Texas yesterday. But then we thought while we were down here, we might as well go to somewhere very special to us. We want to show you guys our home away from home. We haven't been here in over four years. First up, before we go to the place the place. <laughs> We're stopping in a small town along the way to meet up with some friends and to go to a restaurant where we used to have a lot of date nights together. Yes. Can't wait to show you everything that Hill Country of Texas has to offer. Maybe you'll grow to love it as much as we do. Yeah, we hope so. It still exists! Here we are! Here we are! This, it brings back all the memes. And there's something really unique about this restaurant that we're excited to show you. Okay, one of my favorite things about this restaurant that I actually didn't notice until we had eaten here for quite a few times. These bushes out front, look at their flowers and see if you notice anything weird about them. First of all, lots of different colors on the same bush, but they are actually fake flowers tied on to these branches. It's amazing. It looks so cute and they bloom all season long. So how's parenthood for your Well, that was so delicious and it was really good to catch up with friends. Just fun to be back in old places, eating the same meals. So nostalgic. And now we are headed out into the middle of nowhere. nowhere. And middle of nowhere as in no phone service. And in about an hour, we will arrive at our destination. At our destination. what you guys think about when you think about Texas landscape because it's an enormous state so they have everything from mountains to deserts to forests but we are in the Texas hill country so it's hills it's shrubs it's rocks it's scrubby all the trees are short even though the landscape is pretty rugged it's also beautiful so we pulled on the side of the road there's this little lookout point and we want you guys to just get some of this beauty that we get to 
pass a lot of exotic ranches on the way. So every time we drive, we see something new. We've seen zebras, we've seen giraffes, all kinds of gazelle. It, it's pretty neat. It kind of feels like you're on a safari. Yeah. <laughs> but we're just driving in the middle of Texas. Look at these goats just playing on the rocks. Oh, oh, they're fighting. They're like butting heads. Looks like they're fighting for the top rock. Let's see if I can get any closer. So many grasshoppers. Oh, look at all these goats. So many of them. Look at them galloping. <laughs> A little goat stampede. We just spotted something that looks like a water buffalo, maybe? It does. These are so cool. One thing you'll learn in Texas is that everything here is kind of designed to hurt you. Similar to Australia, all the plants are pokey and poisonous. All the animals are out to get you. Like, I don't know, in the north, ants were like, you know, harmless little critters. Here, they all bite, they all leave welts, and they come for you. We found scorpions in our cabins, tarantulas cross the road, snakes. They've got it all here. Welcome to Garvin's. This is the last place to get gas. And venison jerky, biker gear, beer, barbecue, Frio River t-shirts. Sometimes if you're lucky, you get to see their pet peacocks. That they have just walking around here. Yep. All right, I'm recording. Oh. I'm making a video. Okay. He's so elegant. Yeah, so pretty. So chill, even though I like am chasing him. I don't actually care that much. <laughs> a lot of times they hang out in these trees or on that roof, <coughs> but we may not be in luck today. Yes. Well, should we keep going? Yes, onwards and upwards. Now that we've passed Garvin's, we know that this is the last stretch, only a few more miles, and then we get to the dreaded and beloved <laughs> eight mile road. <laughs> We officially have no service, which means we must be getting close. So we've reached the eight mile road, which is going to bring us to Camp Eagle. Where Thomas and I worked for two summers, one and a half years, a big part of our life, Camp Eagle. Just eight miles away, let's do it. Camp Eagle is an outdoor adventure camp that connects with students through biblical truth and authentic relationships. During our almost two years on staff, we developed a deep appreciation for nature, a love for people and God, and a desire to explore more every day. So while we may travel to the ends of the earth, there's always something special about coming home. And the animals Texas is probably most known for the Longhorns. Look at these beauties. If that isn't Texas, I don't know what is. mile road. First of all, it's not paved, so it's all dirt, and it's filled with massive potholes, cattle grates, it's extremely dusty. <laughs> Thomas's car has broken down twice on this road. In the middle of a cattle grate, so no one was able to get around me. <laughs> yeah, it's popped tires. It's just known for being pretty treacherous, especially around the tight corners and steep hills.
And we made it. After four years of being gone, we're here. We're back at camp. We're back home. It's good to be back. I just stepped over an armadillo parking without even noticing. I didn't realize. 